this episode, we're going to recap the top stories from last month and take a trip to Brasante to see what they have in stock for the holidays. First, I'd like to mention that November 30th marked the second anniversary of the launch of North Reading Patch. However, this year, we celebrate more than just our second birthday. We are now part of Reading North Reading Patch, two sites combined, both of which have been around for two years. It may have been a difficult transition, but I'd like to think that we have joined forces to create a bigger and better site. I'd like to thank all of our loyal readers, contributors, bloggers, followers on Twitter and Facebook, and of course, those of you who have allowed us to tell your stories. You all have made our articles come to life, and we wouldn't be reading North Reading Patch without you. Now let's get into the top stories. The first we'll highlight is the newest addition to the North Reading Police Department, Officer Travis Tremblay. After working as a reserve officer for the department, Tremblay was hired as a full-time officer in November. His father, Sergeant Larry Tremblay, has been with the NRPD for about 30 years and one of the reasons that Travis decided to join the force. Congratulations on your new position. Moving on, we reported on the robbery at Tedeschi's Food Store on November 25th. Just before 11 p.m., a masked robber wielding a knife took an undisclosed amount of cash from the store. The robber was described as a six-foot-tall man with a large frame and wide shoulders. No arrests have been made, and the investigation remains open. On a lighter note, the North Reading High School American Red Cross Club is collecting donations to fill 800 stockings for troops overseas as part of the American Red Cross Care Package Drive. Support the students and the troops by dropping items into any of their collection boxes located around town. Touching on some restaurant news, the liquor license for Joe Fish was passed last month. Residents are anxiously awaiting the restaurant opening. Check in with us for details on the eatery. Now let's head over to Brisante to get some holiday shopping tips and take a look at some gifts they have in store. We're here at Brisante with the owner, Colleen Perry. Hi, Colleen. Thanks for being Hello, here with Ashley. us. It was a pleasure to have you. Thank you for inviting me. Of course. We're happy to be here. So let's go take a little tour around Brisante, and Colleen will lead us through and let yep. us know what they have here in stock. Absolutely. Well, a lot of people don't realize that we do f custom floral arrangements. So we either provide the base, or you can bring in your base, and we will pretty much do whatever you would like, another color theme that you would like, we do seasonal, we do every day, so that's always a nice thing because everybody's always looking for something for their table for the holiday season. We do a lot of Christmas ornaments. Well, some of my favorite this year were these, I call them glitter boxes, but I just think they're so elegant and I think it's kind of anticlimactic whatever's inside of it because <laughs> it is so doggone gorgeous. So this is a line called Cake, which I think the title is very appropriate. Beautiful placemats that you use on your table. The, this particular one says menu, but you could actually write in an individual's name. You could do what the menu is for the evening. Now this is our section where we have all little gift baskets all done up for you. So pretty much you don't even have to think. You just come in, you find one that you like. We have a gorgeous line of glassware that comes directly from France. It's a man in Ashland Mass that imports it, but they all come with the themes like the bumblebee, which is Napoleonic. We have the cutest little coats. Let me show you. They're just adorable. They're little oh, lamby coats. They have the ears, and then they have a little tail on the back. That's and they adorable. come in two sizes, six to 12 months, and 12 to 24 months. Those are all scented, and they're just beautiful. And I love the fragrance. They're really lovely. They've been very popular. I put those on Facebook, and people were coming in looking for them. We have a new line of French candles also right behind you, Ashley. This is great. Thank you so much, Colleen, for having us in. Please stop in at Brasante, pick up a few holiday gifts and maybe a few for yourself. Thanks again so much for watching, Thank and we you. look forward to seeing you next time.